Hey everybody. Okay, in this video, I'm going to read my post, The Law of Receiving, um, Six Reasons to Start Receiving Gracefully. Um, this is something that I've really been working on with myself recently, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, okay, so imagine you're having a wonderful dream and someone is offering you a beautiful gift and your heart is bursting with gratitude and joy. But just as you're about to reach out and receive it, someone else intervenes, saying, you can't possibly accept that, it's far too valuable, and if you do, what do you have to give in return? So, you sadly but hastily refuse it, feeling slightly guilty that you wanted to accept it in the first place. But this isn't a dream. You do it every day. We all do. We're constantly rebuff rebuffing offers that are given in love. There's this idea that we should be standing our own two feet and that we shouldn't trouble other people for their help. And even if they offer it without our asking, it's polite and proper to refuse. I mean, what a crock that is, seriously. And what a great way to block what you want to have in life. Everything in the universe is flow. When you block the flow of receiving, the energy gets stuck. It can't move through you and nothing else can get in either. Accepting gifts from others with joy opens the channels for more of what we want to come into our lives. Often when we ask for things, we expect them to come in a certain way, or at least we expect them to come from something we've done. So when someone else offers it to us without any effort on our part, we feel obliged to refuse. Think about it. How many times have you knocked back offers of help or assistance that you felt guilty about accepting for some bizarre reason? You know, the, the things that go through our head are, oh, but I hardly know them. You know, why would they do this or that? There must be a catch. Or I can't possibly let them give it to me. I'll work harder and I'll just get it on my own. But what if, just what if the universe heard your call and sent you what you wanted in the easiest and fastest way possible? But you turn it down. Oh, I can't accept. It's too much, you say. And the universe replies in its own unique way. Okay, no worries. I'll make a note of that. Then you wonder why all these wonderful things you see other people with don't turn up in your life. I mean, you're just as deserving, right? You work just as hard. You're a good person and you help other people. Why don't you get those things in your life? Allowing yourself to receive opens you up to receive more. The answer is how open, or sorry, is in how open you are to receiving. You see, everybody thinks they receive, but few people do so with an open heart. I mean, I've struggled with this myself. I've always been proud of being so independent, and being independent is fine as long as you don't take it too far. I think I have, though, in many situations. What about you? We're all great at giving. You know, look at me, I'm a kind person, I love giving to people. I mean, we don't necessarily see it that way, but that's the kind of energy behind it. You know, it's good to be a person that gives to other people, and we want to be a good person. And so we give. And let's face it, it's nice when people we can give things to people, you know. But when someone offers to give you something, how do you feel? You know, sometimes it feels okay, and it does descend, depend on what it is as well, you know. And it feels okay to start off with. You know, so and so is going to help me do this or, or help me have that. But then as the receiving starts, the discomfort begins as well. You kind of feel bad. You almost feel guilty at taking whatever it is because that's how we see it. Taking. We see it like we're taking something from somebody. When in fact it's accepting and allowing someone else to give to us. But instead, you feel unworthy of receiving unless you can give back something of equal or greater value. Well, seriously, it's time to stop all that. Here are six reasons why you need to start allowing yourself to receive. The first one is receiving what others offer is actually giving to them too. Now, imagine you've got a friend who's always so independent, all right? Someone, then something happens where you're able to offer them something by driving them to the hospital that's an hour away or looking after their pets while they take a last minute trip somewhere or maybe cooking some meals for them when they're not feeling well. But they refuse. They say they couldn't possibly allow you to do that. Now how does that make you feel? Like the beautiful present that you're giving them, all wrapped up with a pretty bow, was just kind of thrown back in your face. You know they didn't mean it in a nasty way, but it is kind of sad and you feel depleted. Now imagine the opposite reaction. They look at you with a big smile and say, oh, how wonderful, are you sure? And when you tell them that you are, they tell you how grateful and happy this has made them and how much it's going to help them. 
Now how do you feel? It's almost like they've given you the gift instead of the other way around. So, you know, that's why it's so important to allow other people to give to you and rather than thinking of it as, you know, I'm taking from them, allow them to give to you because, yeah, that's what they want to do. Allow yourself to receive raises your vibration and aligns you with your true path. Receiving has an energy that uplifts both the giver and the receiver. Now, a friend of mine always says, accept gracefully, especially when someone offers you more than you expected to receive. And she's absolutely right. When you accept gifts given out of caring, you are accepting more than whatever is being offered. You're saying yes to the universe and yes to your divine path. No man or woman is an island is the same. And allowing yourself to receive connects you to others in the dance of giving and receiving, ebb and flow, yin and yang. This way, the universe can send you everything you need to walk the path you came to walk in a simple and elegant way. But if you insist that everything needs to come from you, then you're out of alignment and you're blocking energy and you're not on your true path. And the third thing is receiving turns bad days into joyful days. Now, we all have those days where we're not feeling our best. You know, we wake up just feeling down in the dumps in some way. And the last thing you want to do is talk to other people. So you closet yourself away as much as possible. You don't make eye contact. You pretend you're really, really busy at work and haven't got time for a chat. But then someone corners you and you can't get away. And you enter into a conversation with them. If you're anything like me when that happens, you always walk away feeling better. And it, it doesn't have to be someone you know. It can just be the barista who's made your coffee or a small joke with a cashier at the supermarket checkout, supermarket checkout or someone smiling at you as you walk down the street. You know, it's something very simple because receiving is simply allowing other people to contribute to you in whatever big or small way they feel called to do. The fourth reason to start receiving gracefully is receiving is healing. You know, we've all heard stories of the grumpy old man who won't have anything to do with other people, but the small girl who has no judgment and just talks to him anyway, steals his heart and opens his ability to receive again. You know, this is the kind of thing you see in movies, but it happens in real life too. And it actually happened to me. When I was much younger, I started a new job where there was a woman who was notoriously difficult and she was actually quite nasty sometimes. And as luck had it, I shared an office with her. Now, without really thinking about it, I felt called to chat to her and ignore her snarky comments. My rebellious nature meant that I just didn't give up. And one day, she just gave up being nasty. She gave up her nastiness and opened up about a lot of pain in her life. And what happened next was an amazing transformation. She started to care about herself more. She went on a diet because she was actually quite a big lady. Um, she went on a diet, she lost a huge amount of weight, and she became, she completely changed into this funny, happy human being. Her ability to finally open up to receiving my friendship changed her life. Now, I didn't make this happen. I was just the person the universe sent to her. I was young, and I didn't even realize what I was doing. But I also gained so much from that friendship myself, because I learned in a very personal way not to judge a book by its cover. Receiving is magic, and too many of us block it from our lives. The fifth reason is that receiving gracefully allows more of what you want into your life. Now, as I said before, I've always been extremely independent, and that will probably never change. But what I am working on right now is being able to receive from others and realize that it doesn't diminish my independence or make me a taker or even indebted because I can't repay the favor. <clears throat> excuse me it just means that I'm allowing the universe to send to me you know what I need in that moment receiving is actually far more than just accepting a favor or a gift it allows the flow of energy through the universe every time you receive or give as well and every sorry every time you receive you give as well and every time you give you also receive because it's this give and take I mean it's an old saying that we have you know give and take but Really, that is the way the universe works. By allowing the energy to circulate, it brings you whatever you need. You th then you can pass it on by giving to others what they need that you're able to give. Okay. So next time you need something, don't judge who, where or who the offer comes from. It may not you know, be at all what you expected. 
the more you let into your life, the more willing you willingly you accept the gifts you receive, the more you will find comes your way. And the more you have, the more you can give to others. This beautiful planet we live on is one big giving and receiving energy ball. We don't only receive from people, the whole universe is set up this way. And when you hold yourself apart from that, you're not only you're you're not allowing, sorry, you're not allowing the flow of universal energy to move through you. And this is what blocks you from receiving more. And the last point, number six, is receiving gives back tenfold. I've got many beautiful friends around the world, but one such special person helped me so much over over time over a time when I was struggling financially. At, felt I, at first I felt so bad receiving her help, but one day I told her that I was so grateful, but I was also like concerned because I didn't really know how I would ever repay her kindness. And then she told me something that I had never understood before. Apparently a long time ago, we've been friends since school, by the way, when she was deeply sad about something, I took the time to be with her, to invite her to my house every weekend and just hang out with her, and she's never forgotten it. But I had, you know, because to me it was just, I was just, I mean, I remembered the time, but I didn't realize there was anything really attached to it, you know, because I was just doing what you do for friends, and I was doing what I kept, felt called to do. I'd gained so much out of the situation as well, too, you know, because I had a rule to myself for a while. But in her eyes, this was a wonderful gift from me. Now imagine if she had refused, you know, my offers of, hey, come and spend time with me, you know, not wanting to get in my way and said, no, 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 you know, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. I'm really bad company at the moment anyway, you know, or some such silly excuse that we all give from time to time, you know. If that had happened, I would have missed that special time with my dear friend and she would have been alone in her sadness and that would have meant that both of us would have been a little bit worse off. Now, years later, in my hour of need, there she was, and she was able to offer what I needed at the time, which I was finally able to accept gracefully. There is another angle to this, though. You know, you don't always give back to the person that you receive from. It's a beautiful dance of giving and receiving energy, receiving what you need and giving in turn to someone else. That's living in the flow. So next time you find yourself refusing to accept someone's gift of time or assistance or whatever it is you need, then stop. You know, then accept it with a happy heart, opening the channels to receiving what you need and want from life and passing it on when you get the opportunity. Now, at the time of recording this, um, I'm giving away part one of my course, The Free Spirit's Way, absolutely free. And you know, the first part talks about reconnecting with yourself and your intuition and being who you came here to be. So if that idea interests you, you just go to the link up below this video and you can go to this page and you can subscribe and um, download your own copy today. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. And thank you so much for taking the time to, to listen today. And I really hope that the rest of your day is beautiful and um that you really got something out of this. Okay, thanks a lot then.